Hey guys. Um, I'm in my new little area, which I've posted a video about. And um, so yeah, I am kind of excited about this new setup. So um, I do have you elevated higher, but you won't be able to tell because I crap and fill anyway. So um, anyway, yes. Yeah, so that's not really going to be noticeable to you. Um, okay. I had been watching, catching up on Shabby Dabby Duda and she's been doing like a lot of scraps things. Uh, I had from the Shabby Chic Journal that we'd been working on at the end of last year. Um, I have several scraps and I have this little tray here that's got little bits and bobs and so I wanted to make some clusters because I've got all these scraps and I just I need to get rid of them I think they'll be really good for the shabby journal or the shabby chic journal which I would like to finish uh hopefully before the month is out that's my goal haven't touched it since December thank you end of November even. So anyway, let's just get started making some clusters. So I'm going to just, um, I'm going to just rip off some pieces. Let's get things to a workable size and go from there. These are clusters. They don't have any rhyme or reason. They are just meant to be using up scraps. I know you guys have seen everybody do this pretty much because we've all got scraps up the wazoo. So I'm laying my scraps out and we're just gonna do some layering. Okay. Uh, got some music paper with some text that's always good to put in stuff um i don't really want any sharp edges so i'm gonna tear okay uh, let's see i've got some I've got some painted music paper. Uh, I might use some of the text on it, but the other side is not painted. So I want also not painted. So I'll just put that there. And then... Uh, okay. And we can tear that down. Tear. Oops. Tear that off. Again, I'm not really rhyme or reasoning. Just, just laying it on there. No thinking. This is a quick and easy kind of project to do just to get rid of stuff. So... Uh, in case you're wondering, this is a hymnal that I got from a recycle, reuse, you know, secondhand place. And um, I asked God's forgiveness for, for tearing up a music book. 
because at first I was like, oh no, I don't know if I should be tearing this up. It is religious songs, but I think, I think I'm okay. I'm not desecrating it. I'm, I'm actually using it in, in something. So, uh, and I am Catholic. So, you know, that's just <laughs> something. Something you don't exactly want to take for granted. Okay, this is super fragile book page. It breaks when you fold it. <laughs> so, and this is a poetry book. Um, so I've got one more piece right there. I just it's some heavy subjects in that poetry book so I just want to make sure that I am not putting anything this is a piece of text uh, French letter from Taylor Main journals which I actually have a bigger piece so let's start using some of that So I hope everybody's having a good day. For those of you who are watching, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's it's really, it means a lot for those who like my content and comment on it. It's just, it's a wonderful, beautiful thing. I will still be doing junk journals. Um, I will still be doing vintage projects using digitals. And I will still be doing art journaling as well. I feel like art is a really great way to express yourself, especially when you're having like issues in your life. I feel like painting is a really great way to um, express yourself. If you don't have the words for it, I think it's a great way. So, okay, so this is a page I did, oh, it's got to be like early last year or the year before that even could be, um, actually it might even be the year before that. I got this idea from Tina, um, and I just did a bunch of stamping and watercoloring and did different colored inks and so haven't really used a whole lot of those. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to do that. I have used some decorative scissors on this, which I like the look of that. So I'm going to keep the one side that has the decorative scissors on it. And uh, let's see, it is a rather big image, large image, but let's maybe put it down there. That's pretty. And then we can either put a piece of lace or a button or something along those lines. I'm going to call this one done except for embellishing because that's my focal image. So let's get almost not that far so I'm gonna put the staple I hope you can see this I'm gonna put the staple at the top so I catch everything there we go okay that's a great great way of using things that you've prepared ahead of time so let's see God also took, and again, 
<clears throat> this is Shabby Dabby Doodah's idea. This is packaging we all have. We all get. I just put in another order for Michael's. So, yeah. Just stamping on packaging. Oh, we have a saga with the dogs. We have been having issues with our one dog waking up early in the morning, whining. We don't quite know why or what what's the reasoning. Um, their beds have been in our basement. Um, so, you know, we really are used to having them down there and now we're not having them down there so it's a little strange they are not used to it and they think that because we're trying to encourage them to sleep on the floor that we're torturing them and so last night I gave up the battle and they slept in the bed with us uh, which is difficult because we <laughs> have a queen size bed. My husband takes up most of the bed as it is. And then we have um, the dogs who one is a very beefy dog. Like he just is. He's a beefy dog. He's not a large dog, but he certainly isn't a small dog. And he likes to smash himself up right in between my husband and I and so it's just it's very difficult to sleep just so you guys know this is the inches that um Tina did and she did these I think like uh, two years ago maybe um and they're super cute and great for focal images, small focal images. So, um, anyway, so yeah, the last three nights we have, you know, kind of encouraged the dogs to sleep on the floor, which they have not liked. And last night we gave up on that because they were pouting by the door. I, and I mean pouting, like they're laying by the door looking as if their lives have have been ended because they can't sleep in the bed with us. It's it's the most ridiculous thing. And yes, we have spoiled pampered pooches. That is what we have. Spoiled pampered pooches. That is our fault, my fault as my husband would say because, you know, I spoil them. But they're dogs. They're supposed to be spoiled. Anyway, that's our little saga going on is trying to keep the dogs in their beds, which we brought their beds upstairs. All their blankets, all their bedding, brought it upstairs, have it in our bedroom, the same bedding that they were sleeping in in the basement. Don't want to sleep in it now. I don't know. Don't want to be mean to them. I love them. They're my kids. So I really don't want to be mean to them. But I really don't want to sleep with them forever. I want my bed back. Oh, I want to have my bed to myself with my husband. <laughs> that's it. I mean, that's really it. I just want to have my bed to myself. Oh, the dilemma of life. Having spoiled, pampered pooches. It's terrible, I tell you. Okay. Um, what else? Let's see. Oh, I have this bird here. Oh, so... Yeah. So I have to tell you guys, I'm very chatty today. It's been a while since I've talked to you, so hopefully you'll forgive me on that. 
yesterday I had gotten a Michael's gift card for Christmas and I tried to use it and I couldn't it would not it would not upload um or whatever for whatever reason would not let me use it wasn't coming off the total being deducted off and that was frustrating for me because the order I initially wanted to use it on was like over $80 yes I, I splurged big time and anyway so <clears throat> had this whole ordeal yesterday trying to put this order in ended up doing the chat feature then they're like well you'll have to we can ha you can call the customer service and put your order in over over the phone so I was like okay well I'll do that because this this is not working on my end so I talked to this very nice lady and told her my dilemma and she helped me and all that stuff and it was it started to do the same thing to her and so I made sure I was like listen she's like I can see it it's going through I can see it and I'm like I I'm like I thought it was going through last time and it didn't go through and <clears throat> and it's frustrating because I spent more money than I wanted to I mean it's Michael's so how <sighs> yeah so anyway got my order put in I really need needed stays on ink okay so there's another one there which I really like that it's got script stamping script writing pink and the little bird which is adorable so two down we'll we'll embellish afterwards I'm just getting the foundations built on here this is a pretty butterfly here so Anyway, the girl was really nice. I did get confirmation that my credit card was only charged the amount that it was supposed to be charged, not, you know, with with the deduction of the gift card. So I was very happy about that. And so I got, so of course, they're having a sale on the inks. This is my luck. This, this is so my luck. They're having a sale, buy one, get one free on the inks. I need stays on. I did a bunch of stamping the other day um, in some mixed media paper because I really like stamping and then watercolor the stamps. And my hope is after I watercolor the stamps that I can then use my skin and cut to cut them out. We'll see on that. But that's my hope. So anyway, I might keep this because this also could be used for layering. Yes, hoarding, hoarding alert. I'm keeping the scrap. So anyway, um, uh, they don't have stays on. Could could you believe it? I mean, could you freaking believe it? They don't have any black stays on. Of course, that's the color I want. So, I ended up finding, and I had been wanting the teal colored stays on for a while. I really love that teal color. It's gorgeous. Um, so, I bought the teal color, and then, so I had to pay full price for that. And then, I'm just inking that because it has a lot of white edges. I'm not doing the whole, the whole thing, just getting rid of those white edges. Uh, so anyway, got the, um, so I, and I know I'm, I'm looking for stays on because stays on is a permanent ink and you can use watercolor on it after you stamp it. So I really want a permanent ink because I, that's pretty, isn't it? Because I use the permanent ink for that reason. And also, it's a super crisp stamp. So, anyway, I tr I'm trying the archival. I'm trying to branch out. I've never used the archival before. So, I really don't know how that's going to hold out. But the archival, I believe, is a permanent 
ink. So there's another one. And so we're just going to go with that. So I'm going to use that, but I need something else. Um, oh, wait, I've got, I forgot I have these Tim Holtz images. What if we use one of these and then put that on top? I like that idea. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to have different layers. <coughs> Excuse me. So, and different directions where, you know, they're going and paying attention to composition. I think this is a Tim Holtz image. So, um, you know, I have fur children I, that includes cats. And the cats enjoy my craft room almost as much as I do. And of course, okay, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to staple. Okay, I'm going to staple. Yes, I'm going to staple this. How far down does that go? Okay, I'm going to staple down here, and then I'm going to put that image, I think, or something over the staple. I just want to make sure I get all of the pages. I do not have a tiny attacher. I have already so many craft supplies, I'm not even going to bother going out and getting one. The stapler works just fine, and that's cute, isn't it? I like that. So I'm going to glue that on. And we can add something else to it if we to cover up the staple. Or we can leave the staple. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. Leave it on its side. Put my cap there. Okay. So uh, going now do I want it on top? Might actually want it on top. I kinda like that. Here, let's put that a little bit on an angle. Okay, got some seepage. I have to get another box of tissues in here. Ran out of my tissues. All right, so then we've got that one, which has a vocal image, but we can, you know, maybe put some lace and some gems or flowers or whatever. I'm just trying to get this stuff used. Ugh. Because that's what needs to happen. Oh, I've got this. So I was telling you about my pile of maybe Tim Holtz. Um, I have cats and they like my craft room. And so I had stuff piled because, well, that's what we do when we're working. We pile stuff, right? That's what we do. We're all crafters. We do this. Uh, I had piles of ephemera that were in like envelopes and the cats jumped up there, knocked them on the floor, contents fell out, got mixed up, kits, digital kits got mixed up. It is just a cluster. So anyway, I don't want to do that. So I had stuff that was Tim Holtz and I also have a vintage ephemera kit from Shabby Dabby Doodah and I'm not sure if the Tim Holtz stuff is Tim Holtz or if it's Shabby Dabby Doodah's ephem uh, vintage ephemera kit which I happen to love that kit. I really need to reprint it actually. Okay so now I'm thinking do we want to put that there? Do we want to put that there or do we want to maybe put that down there like that? That's kind of pretty, isn't it? And it just adds a little bit of pink, which bring, ties it into the pink flower down there. All right, let's do that. So this is Shabby Dabby Doodah's curator's kit, the botanicals or flowers, something like that. She has several curators kits. I would love to have them all. I do not have them all, 
but I, I have so many digitals that I have yet to even print and download. They're all in Etsy. I haven't even downloaded them. So yeah, I, I really need to use what I have and, and print and do some printing, hardcore printing, because I have so much, so much. And like, I've been buying like antique papery, which in a video I had mentioned was closed. They were only closed temporarily. So that was great. Um, they are reopened. They have been reopened for a while. She's been doing these bundle kits where you get like multiple kits for like under five dollars and I have been buying those up like crazy so I have so many kits and I don't even know what I'm gonna do with half of them it's ridiculous so I really need to be in my craft room every day I think that needs to be my job because I'm not happy where I'm at finding a job again God, I'm in such a weird place but anyway, that's a subject I'm not going to discuss because I am tired of talking about it. <clears throat> so, let's just talk about crafting and all of the fun things that we can do in our craft room. And it's nice to be able to use these that I have stamped and have had for a long time. It's really nice to be able to use these. So... Um, okay, I need something in a different direction, either the words or the text. So I think we'll do the text. I'm thinking, actually, let's put, oh, hold on, hold the phone. Might even do that. And scoot that there, that's pretty. I like that. Okay. This is a butterfly stamp that is not a very good quality stamp. It actually has significant flaws in the butterfly wings. I think it was a bow bunny stamp that I had gotten. I think I got it because it had a mason jar and I was on this whole mason jar kick. And so, yeah. So there's another one. <clears throat> I hope you guys are enjoying this. I really do. Let's maybe do it like that. Uh, pull this out. We've only used one of these. Uh, let's use this. Pair. We'll just continue on this side. so excited I I've been doing a bit of shopping this month I really didn't do much shopping last month I'm making it up this month making up for it this month is what I should say so I have purchased I started I was looking at this subscription kit I had heard about on one of one of a YouTube subscribers channels and I was intrigued so I looked up um, I looked up the subscription box and various others and I really loved what you get in the subscription box so the subscription box is called planner society and um, I'm getting the actual main kit They've got smaller kits, but the thing I liked about it, and yes, it's planner focused, but the things that you get can 
easily be incorporated into journaling. And that's why I was so excited about it. I think those are the crap scissors. That's why I was so excited about it because I really love planning. I mean, I've done a few planner videos. Those are not exactly my most popular videos. So I, that's a part of a reason why I don't do a lot of those. Um, and yes, I just went on and said, I'm going to do what I love to do, but the planner videos really don't get a lot of traffic, less traffic even than the art journaling videos. So I don't do a lot of those. I do them occasionally if I need to film a video and that's something I also need to do, then I will do that. But, um, yeah, I, I am really excited about this subscription box. I've never done a subscription box before. I keep seeing the Your Creative Studios one, which I think is amazing. I really think is amazing. But it's it's out of Europe. I don't want to pay the shipping fees. I don't no, I don't want to do that. This is a US based company and I and it does ship worldwide, I believe. Um, but I am, was looking for U.S. based. Don't want to deal with the shipping. The shipping as it is, is garbage. Mail that I received mail yesterday that literally was mailed like middle of December. I mean, let's people at the post office. We need to get whatever the situation is addressed because I really would like mail to arrive when it's supposed to. As it is, I don't even know if my water bill arrived, but I, I, I would fight penalization with the water company because I mailed it out the week before it was due. So I would fight penalization. It's not my fault that the post office can't get its act together and I'm not going to sit here and pay any fines or fees because it didn't get there on time. I'm not doing it. So anyway, the post office situation we all know is detestable at this point. So I'm just making this little ruffle um, just because it's an added texture gets rid of some of this fabric I've had laying around. Um, when I do ruffles, I typically staple them because I don't have a hot, I have a hot glue gun. I do, but I don't really use my hot glue gun. So this one I would say is pretty well finished. Maybe need like a gem or some gems or something, but that's pretty good. Um, let's at least get these done. I'm trying to hurry guys. I know I'm dilly dallying and talking. <laughs> okay. I have this kind of vase thing. And I'm going to try fussy tearing around. Of course I'm going to have edges that are not great. So I am so excited about that subscription box though. I really am. And it's a bi-monthly one. It's, it's like I said, it's easily incorporated into journaling, which was why I liked it so much. So this is a stamp set that I have that's kind of like a Grecian type of stamp set. And, um, Anyway, so I think that'll be pretty. Let's put that there. And let's see. Oh, do I wanna, you know what, let me staple this first. I'm really only doing like three layers and then some focal images. That's kind of what I feel like doing on this on these. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Right here. Could have bit me in the face. 
and I am going to go around the edges. I think my ink is still open. So, yeah, I'm very excited about that. Just so this pops out, that's why I want to ink around the edges. And I have some white. Don't want that. So. <sighs> okay. We're going to put that right there. And glue that on. Oh, of course. Of course, right? Okay, so I think that's really pretty. And the purple ties in. There's a little bit of purple in the page underneath. The purple is just from mixing the paint colors, the watercolors. So Great, I like that we can always tear around to make it a little bit cleaner too so all right now oh, togetherness um let's see oh i have actually the perfect one in here with these group of birds this is perfect I actually think I have the same stamp. I think this was a stamped image, and I could be wrong on that. It could it could just be um, a digital image, but I have almost this exact stamp with the three with the birds on it. I think mine has three birds. This one has four, but I like that for togetherness. I think that's perfect. I think my husband should be home soon from his appointment. Okay. I really have to remember to. All right, I'm not getting up because it's annoying. So I have. Uh, let's see. Where are you? Right. Ugh. I have this, yep, left my ink pad open. This is oral swab. That works just fine for inking. It's actually what I started with. And then I tried the, the makeup sponges, which really do work well as well. And anyway, so did that. And I like that better than these. These fall apart very quickly. But, you know, they serve a purpose. They totally do. I stamped these on uh, scrap pieces of cream cardstock. And I think I got the cardstock from Joann's, I believe. But it's basically just cream cardstock. Nothing fancy, nothing to write home about, just cream. I just want to dinge that up a little bit. This is like, just needs. Needs some dinging so that the actual focal image stands out. Okay. So this and this, yes. Or this, and do we like this better? No, I like this better. So let's put that. Well, let's put that there instead. Over to the side. Where's my tissue? There's my tissue. Let's just wipe that up because that was a lot of glue. Too much glue, if you ask me. Okay. And now we're going to take the birds. And stick that right like that. I like it. Okay. One more. One more real quick. This way we've done all of those. And you can see, you know, how... 
how at least the bases without the embellishing turns out. So I have this stamp that just has some decoration on it. Again, from that um, like Grecian kit, it just says postcard and a little filigree things. And so we're just going to put that on as the focal image. I do think these will work great in, obviously not all of them, but I think they'll work great in the shabby journal. So I'm actually really looking forward to putting them in there. Just using what's left on here there's not much but it'll it'll do and then I gotta pick up my thing all right guys so I'm gonna quickly get this glued and then show you what we did and I think that's very pretty so and that also covers up the staple which is what we want okay so Scoot that, scoot that, scoot that. Let's grab these. So we've got this one, which we just finished. This one. And then we've got this one. And then this one. Love this one. This one. This one, okay, this one, that one, and that one. Oh, one more, one more was hiding, and then this one. And this is just using scraps, so. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. So I really hope that you guys have a great day. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day guys.